Is it me, or are these phone boxes getting smaller and smaller and lighter and lighter? I guess we'll call it environmental friendliness. <laughs> Either way, let's jump right into it. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for stopping by. Today I got a special one for you. Another phone unboxing and this time it's the Pixel 6a by Google. So I'm sure a bunch of you have probably already seen an unboxing of this device but I got the chalk white version here today and let me just run through some of the specs of this particular model and this particular Google Pixel 6a. So this phone is rocking a OLED HDR display and it's 6.1 inches and for the resolution is about 1080 by 2400 pixels. So that's about 429 PPI for the density. So that should be a pretty decent display. And it's rocking Gorilla Glass 3 on the front with a always on display. It's rocking the latest version of Android which is Android 12. What else can I tell you about this device? It has two cameras on the back and both of those cameras are 12 megapixels. One of them with the f1.7 aperture and that's for the wide camera, the wide lens camera. And then you have another 12 megapixel camera which has an aperture of f2.2 and that's for the ultra wide camera. So you have a 8 megapixel camera for your selfie camera so on the front of the device it has an 8 megapixel camera and that has a 2.0 aperture and that has auto HDR and panorama and that can shoot video at 1080p 30 frames per second so that shouldn't be too bad at all especially for the front facing camera and the back camera can shoot 4K, the back cameras I should say, can shoot 4K at 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second, and 1080p at 30, 60, 120, and 240 frames per second. So that's kind of crazy. This model has 128 gigabytes and 6 gigabytes of RAM as well. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this unboxing. I don't even think I need the unboxing knife for this one. I've seen the tabs on the back. So let's go ahead and pull these tabs I'll tell you right now this phone feels extra light this is probably one of the smallest phone boxes I've ever had in my hand very small so uh, there's probably no charger in here alright I'm done mumbling let's get it they made it nice and easy pull these tabs grab this one shout out to everybody that's been rocking with the channel Appreciate you guys. Channel keeps growing. We're at about 205 subs at this point. So I appreciate you guys. Let's keep growing. Look at that. So this chalk white. Look, get the reflection out of the off the back of the device. But look at this. This is beautiful. So we'll throw this to the side. It feels definitely solid. I like the black around the device. I didn't know it was gonna come like this. So this is definitely a nice surprise. Looks like a stormtrooper giving me the Star Wars vibes. But this is nice. Let's go ahead and throw this to the side really quick. See what we get in here. Looks like we get some kind of dongle, USB type A to USB type C. So at least they included that. Put that here. What else do we get in this box? looks like your charger so it looks like USB type C to USB type C so yeah this definitely obviously doesn't fit in here just want to see but yeah so USB type A USB type C it looks like and then two USB type C what else do we get here looks like just some sim ejector tool is there anything else in here? Oh yeah, here we go. I was wondering if they was going to give us a user guide or anything like that. Put that here. Sim ejector tool. It says Google here. 
Let's open this up. Telling you a little bit about the device, just little helpful tips, how to turn it on. And then just the stuff that nobody reads. So we'll just throw that to the side. Anything else? Nope, pretty bare bones. I didn't expect anything anyway. But let's go ahead and take a look at this Pixel 6a. Phone definitely feels solid, nice and solid. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Get my reflection out of here. But it's a beautiful, let's, does it have any juice in it? Yeah, it does. So let's just go around the device. So you see the two cameras here, the flash. You got the SIM ejector tray here where you put your SIM card in. Looks like you have dual speakers on the bottom. So there's, a, looks like there's a speaker here, speaker there, and then where you would charge your phone. So you put your USB type C cable here. On this side, it looks like you have the volume down and up rocker along with the power button. And then up top, nothing. That's about it. So like usual guys, I'll throw my information in here. We'll do a quick camera test, sound test, and then we'll get into some gaming. I'm excited about this one. You guys hang tight. All right, I'm back and I got my information thrown into the device. And so far, I gotta say, this device is fire. For $459 and it's supposed to be a upper mid-range device, this device is so far pretty fire in my opinion. I'm loving this embedded fingerprint scanner and it's fast, responsive. I haven't had an issue so far just going through the phone and swiping through apps and opening apps. Haven't noticed any lag at all. This phone is pretty decent and I'm loving the vanilla Android experience. That's probably one of my favorite things about it. It doesn't have, doesn't have a UI on top of it. It's just rocking Android 12 and it's super smooth, super responsive. So let's go ahead and jump into a camera test and a picture test and see just how well these 12 megapixel cameras stack up. So fire that open. As always, take what I got on my desk, a couple shots. And then I'll throw it up for you guys so you guys can see and be the judge. So, so far, shutter speed is pretty good, pretty fast. Let's see how these photos turn out. Let me go ahead and snap one more. Move this over here. See how it works see how well these pictures look with multiple items in the picture all right so i'll throw these up for you guys but let me just go ahead doesn't look too bad so i know the pixel phones usually have good cameras and i'm not sure if you guys can really see this try to get that little flare out the way but not a bad picture and the screen's not the camera's not doing it justice but it is bright and it does look nice. It doesn't look so washed out like it probably does coming off of the S22 Ultra while filming this. But yeah, picture's not bad. Let's go ahead and uh, jump into sound test. As always, got the channel fired up. So, see how this sounds. Pretty loud. stopping by the channel today I got another phone unboxing so you for definitely you. can this hear it by from these bottom firing speakers if we cover this one up Motorola G still pretty power. loud let me tell you a little bit about this but phone. if we cover this one up which now I'm thinking that this so probably right this here is, is not a speaker IPS this doesn't seem LCD. like it's really firing anything any sounds coming from this one so I think the main speaker is this one right here and when you cover it it does sound a little muffled but you can still hear it so for the PPI density. I feel like the this speaker quality isn't too bad either. Glass front, go ahead, turn this off. Alright guys, let's go ahead and jump right into some gaming. Ooh. Don't get in the car with me. Right. 
Just a little rough start. But so far, this feels just fine. Feels good. No lag at all. Yeah, I'm not noticing anything, but this game isn't too crazy, crazy graphical, you know? It, the graphics aren't too bad, too intense on this game. But it is running pretty smooth. Let's see if we can pass somebody before we make it to the finish line. Ooh. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to ride with me. At least not in this. I think they're about to lap us. That's how bad we're doing. So what do I think about this Pixel 6a by Google? For $450, this phone in my opinion is a buy. It's good for a main phone, definitely a side phone, but for a mid-range, upper mid-range budget phone, this is a good phone. I'm definitely loving the embedded fingerprint sensor that Google put in this phone works very well and it's just a definitely a nice touch I, I'm not sure how many phones out there right now have the fingerprint sensor embedded under the screen but it's definitely a win in my opinion the phone feels smooth and responsive I like stock Android on it it works very well the cameras not too bad either so I'm not expecting S22 Ultra kind of cameras, but for $450, this phone is good and I like it. Definitely loving this chalk color. Look at this Stormtrooper. All around nice. The Google Pixel A is a win in my book. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. This phone is fire.